Gemini, how you doing? So welcome to your reading. How are you, Gemini? So things are changing slightly. Uh, I am absolutely knackered because I've done a lot of uh, personal readings just lately. So that might be why I'm slightly behind. Your cards are already out. Steve's going to get his multicolored deck out and pretty much show you and stick them on the table and let you have a look. But the thing is, you've already got your cards here. I had to turn the camera off because it was just nonsense. So, <laughs> some of you, uh, if you are looking for a sign, this is it. Okay, so there might be some red flags around a lot of you. Okay, you are ignoring the signs you specifically asked for. How many do you need? Here is a here is a bright red balloon ass to let you know you know. So if you've got red flags and you already know, okay, it's like, I already know. You don't need to tell me, I already know. You got it? So that's what it says. So we'll see what you might have red flags about uh, when, uh, unless you are eating burgers and it's around food and going to the red flags. Um, but you are the only person qualified to define your own vision of success. The sea cucumber of success. Some of you are very successful around your business. Okay. Uh, do not compare your win with someone else's. So basically, uh, I don't know, trying to compare ego or something like that or compare yourself. Or are you better than anyone else, basically? Okay. Um, so uh, do not compare yourself, uh, your win with other with someone else. To think one is worse or better than another is the chatter of the ego. We are all equal. Uh, we are all equal and our success is for all, not just for one. Thank, thank your little wins are the universe high, five, high fives bringing positive energy to whomever might be affected from the achievement. You might be dealing with a Taurus, a life path five or a Sagittarian or you might have it in your own chart. And there's a clash of egos and you try to have one upmanship against one another because it said high fives. So if you're dealing with someone as like a Sag, a Taurus placement somewhere, OK, there might be someone there might be a lot of like red flags and you show you know, just kiss my ass, bro. I'm know exactly what you're up to. OK, so it might be where, like I said, you're having a clash of ego and you try to win one up against one another. But it says do not compare your win with someone else's. To think one is worse or better than the other is the chatter of the ego. Okay, so it's, it's kind of like one-upmanship all the time. I'm trying to get one over on you. You're always trying to get one over on me. And one and one just makes two. You could be dealing with a Libra maybe or a Life Path 2 or two energies that make a two. But again, we're always trying to like get one up on one another all the time. But some of you, like I said, it doesn't have to be your love life. It could be anything that's going on. But basically, I feel some of you are very successful and there's red flags around you with someone where you may be always trying to compete with another person, okay? It might be like I'm trying to compete and get more successful than anybody else, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, Gemini. Gemini, so you have the pessimistic puffin. Puff, puff, give! Some of you might be dealing with 24-7. Uh, was it? Uh, no. You might be smoking copious amounts of ganja. Uh, it will probably rain. Oh dear, really? Some all the rain. Someone was looking down the downside. Um, really? Where is this piss piss pissimism? <laughs> pissimism. <laughs> Where is this pessimism coming from? Find the roof of it. It's probably a pain. Is probably as painful as a root canal. To be fair, but just sitting with your pain is creating an attitude, making someone else is miserable. Don't be that puffin. Like I said, I really do keep picking up that someone around you is that you're always trying to compete against one another. Now, if this isn't your lover, it's your mother, okay? But like, or your son or your daughter. But like, you're always competing against the person. You've got such big egos, but there is no vice, advice or advice that spirit can give you. Because it can tell you to stop doing it, but the other person won't, you see? So it can be a north and south energy. But where is this pessimism coming from? Find the root. Uh, find the root of it. It's probably as painful as a root canal. To be fair, but sitting with your pain is creating an attitude, making everybody else miserable. So it's kind of like this Debbie Downer, really, of someone that's constantly making you feel fucking miserable. Jim and I. I don't know who, what, or where, but relate it to who you will. So what is the red flags? Why do they have the red flags? What is it? Please clarify why they should have red flags um, if you're looking for a sign. 
This is it. What is the sign that they should be looking around? A seven, a life path seven, or waiting. Like there's red flags around waiting and waiting and waiting. It could be around your business, okay? Um, around your, yeah, whatever it is that you do financially, people could be in competition. What is that seven of pentacles for, or red flags? Something around a Gemini or a Capricorn, okay? You've seen this, you've seen this before for a lot of you. Um, but it could be a Gemini. Like I said, the Capricorn could be a Gemini or a Capricorn Gemini, but six. So basically, if you've got, if you are like me in a Gemini moon and you have a really beef problem with a mother that's a Gemini, there you go. So some kind of um, energy of like, you've seen these signs before, okay? Um, you are the only person qualified to define your own vision of success. Something's going very slowly. It's just like, it's not going anywhere apart from where it already is. So where you are is where you are. What you have in the future is not much yet, okay? But it's basically, it's just taking time. More time and more time and more time and delaying things. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Putting it off for another day. Knight of Pentacles, it could have something to do around your work, okay? But you are the only person qualified to define um, vision of your success. So it could have a lot like, to do with Michael, or um, the secret of my success. What is the secret behind your success? Is the fact that I don't have to do too much. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. The pessimistic puffin. I don't really like clarifying these, to be honest. But again, you've got the Libra energy here of a number two. Someone that makes up that number two, even. If you if you don't know. Right? For instance, say if you're in life path seven, life path four, and you make a two. Whatever makes a two or whatever number what we've been going over with the numbers. But again, there's a karmic energy here of someone that's very pessimistic, okay? But it, it feels like this waiting game of having to wait. Like I'm just having to wait and wait longer, like a waiting room. Some of you might be waiting on some kind of news around doctors or hospitals, and it's like sitting in a waiting room all the time. Or you're always in your room, just kind of like waiting around. What's the two of wands? Two ones is around a Virgo or a life path nine. There could be someone that is also very pessimistic around you. There's a lot of stuck, stagnant kind of energy. They're saying that there are red flags around something that you may have done before. And the same kind of thing is happening again. For a lot of you, Jen, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, Jackie, just Jackie, Jackie's son, Steve, Stephen, Sarah. Anyway, let's see. Sassy, Simon, Cynthia. Uh, so, let's see. Gemini. What they got going on this week around the tarot, please. What has Gemini got going on around tarot, please, for this week? Uh, oh, sorry, we're doing the Divine Mirror, aren't we? So show me the Divine Feminine, please, of Gemini, the Divine Feminine for this week. What you've got going on. So someone here is a Sagittarian Taurus placement maybe. Feeling down. There's the Debbie Downer. I feel down. I feel guilty. You didn't speak. I didn't say anything. Why did I say it? Why didn't I say it? You're making me feel guilty now. Okay. So someone that always makes one person feel guilty. Okay. Could be a guilty pleasure. Could be something that you have that you know you shouldn't do but you do anyway. And because you do, you kind of let yourself down. Or am I going to let you down, right? But again, if you're arguing with a person, that ends up being like a five of swords, five of wands. That would also be someone that can play games with you. And then you also end up feeling guilty for having a go, for having a you know, like a screaming match or an argument. Five of cups is normally always an argument. It's whatever is left after the argument. A person that can feel guilty for doing or saying what they did. But if you get a five... They can make you feel guilty for what you did if you're dealing with mind games and manipulation. Okay. So let's see, show me the divine feminine of Gemini. So, Jesus, man, really? What the fuck is going on? You got Sagittarius Taurus placements all around you. Possible Aquarian. This is loss, feeling at a loss, feeling like I just can't cope. This could really be someone, like I said, that makes you feel guilty. I go for this, I'll be fucking blatantly honest. I go through this with my mother. You guys know this, but my mother is a Gemini, okay? But she has a Sagittarius moon, and she has a Taurus rising and also a North node. My North node and rising is Scorpio. That's the opposite to Taurus. 
Sagittarius moon, okay? So someone that has a very high temper, they shout, they scream, they have a go at you and then they make you feel accountable for the fact that now you feel guilty and you're like, what the fuck, I can't win. I can't do anything. I can't say yes, I can't say no, even if I don't say anything. So like if someone's asking you a question, I'm being honest, it's up to you guys, but you've got the cards, <laughs> okay? Someone can come up to you and they can say something and you can even say yes, but you saying yes isn't good enough. They don't accept a yes or a no answer as good enough. Blah, 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 we'll speak to you. Yeah, uh -huh. get moody because you've said yes, but too quickly. <laughs> say no, it'll make the person argue even more because you said no. But even if you say yes, it also makes the person aggressive. So you're trapped within a person that can also make you feel guilty for saying yes or no or not saying anything. You can even be quiet and this person would get very fucking pissed off and tempered. Right. Now, if any of you are physically arguing with a person, you're just arguing with one another all the time, making each other feel shit. Okay. So this may well not be, or Mayweather, Mayweather or Heather, but Mayweather is also um, a fight, a title fight. So, <laughs> come what may. <laughs> uh, let's see. The Divine Feminine. What's the Divine Feminine got going on with Gemini? Gemini, show me the Divine Feminine. So don't watch this. If your love life's going well, don't apply this to your love life. If your family life is shit, apply it to your family life. Okay? It's up to you. So you got the Life Path 7, a Cancerian, or the physical signs of. Okay, could even be about a car that you're arguing about. Okay, about traveling. <laughs> My mother's just gone traveling with someone. <laughs> I can see it now. Uh, but yeah, this this trip has caused more arguments than a little. Shut up going on about your own life. <laughs> someone has caused a lot of arguments about not having a car, needing a car, inside a car, outside of a car. If you travel with this person, right? if you travel with them, and they trap you inside of a car... This is normally when someone, like, if you can walk away from them, right? If this is someone that you can generally just walk away from, they get pissed off and angry because you walk away. But if this person could possibly trap you inside of a car and you're having to go a long distance with this person, okay, inside of a car and you can't just open the door and jump out, this person traps you when you're in a car and asks you, very personal, detailed questions that make you feel really uncomfortable. Because you can't just say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm busy, I'm walking off. If they trap you in a car, you're arguing inside of a car here. Mm. It's either about a car or it's about a, an actual cancer, okay, about a cancerian, okay. But it's a, not a good energy. It's a life path five or so, a life path seven or a specific cancerian, okay. But that's more more than likely for me is is where you can watch this and you someone has it in their chart. Sagittarius, Taurus, Cancerian. Okay. Let's see. Because this person doesn't... You, you would be around this person and you're like, oh, fuck, I, I, I'm trying to walk off from you and I'm trying... But you won't... Just stop. Like, don't walk away from me. The Cancerian energy can either mean a car or it can mean like walking off. But like, I want to go forward, okay? And you're like, no, you come back here. Don't you dare talk to me like that. Oh, well, don't talk to me at all then. And then you walk off and then a person screams at you expecting why is it that I'm blatantly not bothered and give a fuck the fact that I'm not prepared to sit here listening to this shit. Why would I bother? So I'm moving away from you, not, not in or towards. No, I'm moving away, <laughs> right? That kind of energy there. Okay. Well, that's what you should be doing for a lot of you. Okay, uh, let's see. Or some of you are like, you know what, fuck it. And this is the Divine Feminine. And you've got the Divine Masculine on this side. And this is what the Divine Feminine kind of goes through. I mean, you can. I have to call out Divine Feminine and Masculine because I have to call out somebody. So you can still relate to the same. But if this is relating to like a story, and this is what you or the other person individually goes through their life, there's this fuck, I need to get away from this shit. I, I, I don't want to live here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be around this energy any longer. 
You're making it really fucking uncomfortable for me to stay here, for me to live here. I'm trying to do my fucking best, but you just keep arguing and you just can't seem to get on here. Okay. Let's see. Um, show me the Divine Feminine with Gemini, the Divine Feminine. So is it over children? Is it over your ex and stuff like that and you just can't... Or is it a new person and you met a new person and they floated into your life, caused havoc and then pissed off here? But like someone here is pissed off. It could even be a friend. It might even be a friend. Your, your readings can be about anything that you, you make it about. You know, Don't make an argument if you haven't got one. But here, this could even be about a friend. Like they're very fucking argumentative. Like, or a brother or a sister. But someone that's very argumentative, like, but like I said, I told you about being a child, being a child trapped in this situation. This is like going on a family outing, okay, on a family outing, and the family all start arguing inside of the car, and the child is sitting here thinking, what the fuck is going on here? And like, I don't, I don't want to be a part of this, right? It is. It can even be about a car. That someone just keeps banging on and on and on about their car. Using someone for a lift or a car or just like, I need that, I need this, I need that. Okay, but again, there's feeling down, feeling low energy. Using me. Let's see, show me the divine masculine that is connected to uh, Gemini. The divine masculine. So you've got Pisces here for a lot of you. So you could have brothers and sisters and friends still because that is definitely prominent here. Um, but oh, man, it's like I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Like I'm here, you're there. I just want to be with you. I just need out of this fucking situation because it's pissing me off here. Okay, um, show me the other person connected to Gemini, please. The other person connected to Gemini, the Divine Masculine. So you got the Ace of Cups. So it's kind of like your love life is here, but there's arguments in the family about it. Or someone has a family member, individually on their own, that they cause fives all the time. Five, 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 five. Like if you're a seven and a five, then no. <laughs> okay, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three. Life path three. You could be going around and around and around like such drama triangle that you just you can't seem to do anything but split up, break up, argue, not talk, speak, not talk, not like <laughs> here. But show me the divine masculine, the other person connected to Gemini, please. So you've got two aces here. So for a lot of you, I feel like your love life's here, but there's also a very complicated energy of either one ex or two, uh, brother or sister, mother, daughter kind of scenario of home here going on. Okay. Five again. What the fuck, bruv? <laughs> Five. You've got to be dealing with like a sad tourist placement. It has to be about at home. It's got to be. It's either about child support maintenance. You had a child, someone doesn't support you. Or a friend and they've got no money. You know, someone that doesn't have money. They've got no... They don't support their children that they've got. Or, I don't know. Just like... But there's lack of respect here. Someone has ruined this through arguing that much that they have lack of respect for one another. Like, they physically don't respect one another like actually don't respect one another and the money is incorporated the respect is gone okay the talking is broke down the energy is just not compatible okay but this could be like a say a life path five for instance okay and it can and i've come up against them in the past Okay, and you end up getting in such an argument very quickly. And when you do, the other person holds you accountable for that argument. And then they actually make you feel guilty for leaving. Or guilty for walking off from them. Or guilty for staying. Or guilty for doing what you did. Because five is also a blamed energy. This is severe mind games and manipulation that some people are like really going through. 
okay, because mind games manipulation is causing a fight when the other person doesn't want to and they think, oh my God, I just, I don't want to fight. The other person pushes the other person's button to make them fight. When they do, this person here would probably feel guilty for like, because of the tension that's caused. But why would someone keep causing that many arguments and fights? Because if you might live, like you might not be able to actually physically move and you might be here and you can't move like you physically can't. And like in your scenario here, you just got more problems than a little because you can't physically actually get away from the person. You can't. Or this person, but you, you're both putting each other down, whichever way it is. Like, I, I'm really not picking this up as like, well, not for everybody's love life. But for, I mean, if it is relating to your love life, it's relating to your love life. But I can see my family scenario here. <laughs> but like, you know, me equivocally, everybody says to me, and they do all the time, do you have a problem with Taurus and Sagittarius? Not specifically, no, I don't. No, not specifically do I. I know people that have it in their chart and some and I get on really well with. But a lot of people that I have met where they have a mismatch placement of mine, I can't get on with five energies because I, I like to keep high, vibrant, always think of positivity. All the time I'm so positive. I always have to feel positive, living in the present moment. When I get negative Nellies around me all the time that are all so negative and down, and I, I get exhausted. Like So I'm like, fuck, I, I back off. I'm, like, I'm exhausted trying to cheer you the fuck up. But, I mean, if there's ever mental illness or there's illness, that's different. But there's this energy here of, like, families or people that are actually living with one another that fucking hate each other. <laughs> they, I mean, if you live on your own, you live on your own. And this is a scenario that you know of. But majority of you could really be living with this person, okay? And they make you feel down. They go off doing gallivanting off doing exactly what they want when they go about their own way this five energy worries about well you've just left me on my own this person can have fear of abandonment that much that through having fear of abandonment they cause arguments and conflict and then when the person walks off the other person then blames them for giving them what they wanted <laughs> which is fear of abandonment okay so self-sabotage, like, can be, like I said, it's, it's a, I've been in these circumstances for so long in a family situation. So how can I come across to you? <clears throat> okay, someone can start an argument with you quite easily, very quickly, and they poke your button in order to not let you leave or go. And you're stuck knowing, okay, I've got two options. I can either respond or not respond. But either which one I do is going to be wrong. Whether I respond or I don't respond, walking off is going to be worse. Saying something is also going to cause the argument. So they trap you in the five. Okay. So then when you're in that circumstance, you have that decision to make and think, fuck this. Okay. I can't be doing with it. So you walk off. They're not happy. When you do that, they actually created that scenario of the other person abandoning them, not wanting to listen to the arguments. That person then goes through self-loathing, okay? When they're self-loathing, they make you feel guilty for saying what you did to them, but by res responding to what they started. Out of an argument, somebody has to start an argument. If you don't speak, then nobody can cause an argument. So obviously, the interaction that you're having with Z person is causing that much conflict that all you ever do is feel guilty. And I can guarantee you, the other person that's been made to feel guilty feels guilty. And then the other person that caused feeling guilty doesn't know whether they're guilty or whether what the fuck is going on here. So this is communication breakdown completely. To be honest with you, if this wasn't family and you've been going through this for fucking ages, you've got to kind of drop this energy here. Okay. If it's someone that's needing support, then there's support energy here, right? That's for someone that cares and gives a fuck and you're supporting one another. But majority of this, I'm picking up that this is either a friend or a, um, a mother-daughter scenario here is causing a lot of arguments, okay? And then on this side, 
there's more of a brighter energy, which means that in splits of two, if you're with a partner, this is what one goes on with, with a husband or a wife or a relationship or a parenting homely setting. And then in this energy could say be you or your partner and you are together, but you talk about families, how difficult it is around me having a difficult family member, how difficult it can be living at a distance and that I don't get to see you as often as I want here. Okay, I don't get to see you as often as I wish because this energy makes me feel shit. You actually make me feel good and I'm trying to come out of the five. I'm trying not to get involved in fights and arguments. I don't want to. Who does want to live in a place like this? <laughs> Who does want to argue like this? If your answer is yes because they did something, well, then you need to get rid of them. <laughs> you know, if someone is causing this much havoc, well, then one of you needs to move, okay? And that might be what you're planning in the future, but having to just put up with this at the time being, okay? So that's what I've got for you, Gemini, so far. Uh, if you want to follow, you can. It'll be the full access bundle only. <laughs> okay, there's my baby. Uh, my, the full access bundle only. Okay, you can find that link provided below. It really does support me as a channel. Things are going to change when I get these three other decks. But at the moment, like I said, I've done so many personal readings with people at the moment. It's been difficult to keep up. But I've done my best. Okay, but If you want to join, full access bundle has everything that it says on the tin. Full access to everything. All old and new readings. Difference at time. This one, clarify, clarify. How does your partner think and feel about you? And then any other messages that may come through those cards as well. Okay, If they're argumentative, upset, blah, blah, blah. It might come through as... How does your partner feel about you? Very good. How does this might be a family situation? How does your partner feel? Partners. Okay. Two different approaches, but that's what you get on the full access bundle. You can find that link provided below. Thanks very much, Gemini, and I'll see you soon.